Hey, Felix Von Hoon again. How you doing? Good. Congratulations and thanks for coming. Um, can you tell me, can you describe the moment this film began to take shape in your imagination and how did the concept evolve from two separate novels, autobiographies that are written into one cohesive film? Oh, well, it, it, it immediately started to take shape when I, when I um, read the novels. I, w I was very much intrigued by both of them and I felt a lot of um, connection. Was there a eureka moment? Did you come across one particular sentence or anything? Or? It's just the, I, I mean, the idea is already, it's unique to have one story told to two points of view. Um, so I think it started there, in, in this pitch of, of what this film is. And then reading it, I felt, you know, so much connection to the characters, to, 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 how, they to how they live. And, and also, you know, it was a real eye-opener to me in, in how... This is family struggling with addiction, yet they learn a lot, they never give up, and it's a true story, and they, they come out at the end uh, and survive it, and it, I thought it was a very inspiring story. Excellent. So how did you make sure that the theme of addiction did not overcome the family drama? The, at the heart of the story, it's a family drama, right? Um, it, it is. It is. It's, it's a family being on this emotional roller coaster uh, of one member struggling with addiction, but it is essentially about unconditional love and you know it's what it's the combination of all those things that drew me to it and then you gotta you gotta um, stick with that with that core feeling that you had when you first read the books and that was most of all my love for that family excellent and how did you direct Steve Carell and Timothy Chalamet to play their role as father and son and then how did they build on your direction when the camera started rolling I, I love rehearsing. I'm a director who loves to take my time to get to know each other, uh, to try things, to um, you know, to make the script better. I rewrite while, while we're doing rehearsals. I want them to get to know each other. So that was actually the most important because that's the moment when we when we lay out the ideas and, and, and narrow down the path that we're gonna take, but also build trust and build a safe place when where they where they can really go and, and where I feel that they trust me. And then once you're shooting, it's, it's, you know, it's really about, my, my only barometer as a director is, is what I feel. And so when I look at my monitor, I wanna be laughing or I wanna be crying. And once that happens, it's okay. And if it's not, then we try to find ways to get there. And that's by pushing, pulling, trying other things, giving them more liberty, basically being the biggest fan. How do you communicate to the rest of the cast that you feel good after a take? Do you say rock and roll? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm not a shouter. I'm not a, uh, you know, I'm a pretty focused director, I think. But, you know, I guess just great guys. Let's move on. Excellent. And this is your first <laughs> English-speaking film? Yeah. How did you like it? How's it compared to the to Belgian? It's, um, the scope is bigger, so there is more... I guess more, I mean, in the lead up to it, it took more time and effort to, to get it set up. Uh, but once you're shooting, once you're together with the actors and, 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 and the camera in the room and you're all, you're, you've gathered all these passionate people around the same thing, the same story you want to tell. I, don't, I didn't feel any difference. Excellent. How does it feel to have it hit screen in the United States? And how do you like Chicago? Um, I, I, I'm really happy to show it, to bring it out into the world, and really uh, uh, proud that we're opening the Chicago Film Festival. Excellent! Congratulations! Thank Thanks you. For your time. Thank you.